come on, come on Oxford, we're back to fix the out. The 30th of July, playing away against Derby. Can't wait. I can't wait until the season starts. Of course, we've got a friendly tomorrow away against Oxford City. I can't wait for that. Um, yes, I'm going to be vlogging it. Honestly, I miss football so much. I really did. But I just can't wait to be back in there again with a crowd. So, yeah. Today's video then, I'm going to go through all the 46 games we got. You might know who we got, but if, if you do well, majority you will know. But if you don't, I'm going to go through them. And if you do, I'm just going to go through them anyway. Um, some of you might forget who we got on different dates and that anyway. So don't worry, I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I'll remind you. Because I'm buzzing. Come on! Right. Our first game then of the season, I just said it at the start, so, so you might know already. Um, and that's Derby away. And if you look back on my last vlog, I actually predicted that one right. Let's quickly watch that clip again, shall we? I'm going to give a prediction now. I reckon we'll have Derby away first game of the season. Oh. Yes, I said Derby away. But I got a rest wrong though. But yeah, I knew we would have a big team away. I just knew it this season. And I just thought, it's going to be Derby. It's going to be. I just had a big feeling it was going to be Derby. And guess what? It is Derby. Woohoohoo! But yeah, um, I'm going to go through all 46 games. Then I've got some other Octus fans. Um, thoughts on those and that. So yeah. But yeah, of course... 46 games is a lot, so i got to fly by them because this video will be too long otherwise. So yeah, here it goes. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to fly by them. Um, of course, we've got Leighton Orient, Sutton United, and Tesco under 21 in the Pat Bedon's Trophy. Um, yes, that's out now, but we don't, we don't have any dates for that yet. So our first game then away at Derby County. And that's the 30th of July. Our next game is at home to Cambridge. And it's the 6th of August. Then we're at home to Swansea City on the 9th of August. And that's actually my dad's team. I can remember. Back 2016 when we beat him in the FA Cup. I just couldn't believe it. With Kima Roof. Top goals and yeah, honestly, I would like that to happen again with Matty Taylor. Come on, let's beat the Jacks. Woo! But yeah, um, and also I got some news to share with you that I forgot to share at the start. Luke McNally's left Oxford, so yeah, our mine defenders left Oxford, but don't you worry. Um. We're we still going to sign some few players, and I think Brannigan's staying at Oxford at the minute, so which is pretty good. So I'm, I'm also at the end. I'm, I'm going to go through all the teams, see which have a um, list every team, see which have a best support and that. So yeah. All right then, let's move on. Our next game is away to Bristol Rovers, thirteenth of August. Then we're at home to Lincoln, 16th of August, 7.45 kickoff. Then we're at home to Morecambe, 20th, tw tw then we're at home to Morecambe, the 20th of October, August. I don't know why I said October, but we got Morecambe at home, the 20th of August. <laughs> then we're away to Cheltenham, 27th of August. Then we're at home to Burton, 3rd of August. Why am I going to say August when it's September? Right, let me start that one again. Then we're at home to Burton on the 3rd of September. Sorry about that. Um, then we're away to Shrewsbury on the 10th of September. I said it right this time. <laughs> then we're away to Plymouth, Tuesday night, 13th of September. Then we're at home to MK Don, 17th of September. Then we're at home to Fleetwood, 24th of September. Then we're away to Cheltenham. Chowton, 
1st of October, then we're at home to Wickham, 8th of October, then we're away to Exeter, 15th of October, then we're at home to Peterborough, 22nd of October, then we're away to Portsmouth, 25th of October, Tuesday night kickoff. There, then we're away to Bolton Wanderers, 29th of October. Then we're then we're at home to Port Vale, 12th of November, and then we're at home to Forest Green Rovers, 19th of November. Then we're away to Ackland and Stanley, who are they, on the 3rd of December. Then we're at home to Boundley on the tenth of or on the tenth of December. Then then we're away to Sheffield Wednesday on the seventeenth of December. Then we're at, then we're away to Ipswich on Boxing Day. Then we're at home to Charlton twenty ninth of December seven forty five kick off, and then we're at home to Exeter, and then we're away to Wickham seventh of January. And then 14th of January, we're away to Fleetwood. And then 21st of January, we're at home to Ipswich. And then the 28th of January, we're away to Burton, Burton Albion. Then we're at home to Shrewsbury on the 4th of Feb. Then away to MK Dons on the 11th of Feb. Then at home to um, Plymouth, Argyle, 14th of Feb, Tuesday night. Then we're away to Cambridge, 18th of Feb. Then we're at home to Bristol, Rovers, 25th of Feb. Then we're away to Lincoln, 4th of March. Then we're at home to Derby County, 11th of March. And then we're away to Morecambe, 18th of March. And then we're at home to Cheltenham um, on the um, 25th of March. And then we're away to Peterborough on 1st of April. And then we're at home to Sheffield Wednesday on the 7th of April. And then we're away to Port Vale on the 10th of April. And then Bolton home, we've got Bolton at home on the 15th of April. And Portsmouth at home on the 18th of April, 7.45 kickoff. And, and then Boundary away. On the 22nd of April, then Forest Green Rovers on the 29th of April, and our last game then we've got Aqua and Stanley again. Who are they? On the 6th of May, so yeah, three, three o'clock kickoff, but that might um, be brought back to a half time kickoff that last season. So yeah, that's all the games. Um, yeah, I've gone through them really fast. I made a mistake on a couple of them, but I. Um, but yeah, but I sort of um, re re redone that mistake. If if I made any more mistakes, please feel free to comment down below. But I just went through them really quickly. Um, of course, I'm going to be thinking about them every game we play them anyway. So every time we play them, I'm gonna have sort of a preview. Every time we play them, I'm gonna I'm gonna have sort of a um. A day before, I'm going to quickly speak about a game in that anyway, so you'll hear me speak about a game then. Um, so I don't want through it really quickly. But yeah, I um, that all the games we got. A most game I'm looking forward to this season, and that probably Derby away, because it's the first game of the season, the biggest ground, I just can't wait to go up there. Also, Wickham again, I can't wait to go to Wickham as well. But this time, I'm hoping to, um, well, I'm hoping. We beat Wickham. But yeah, um, Arthur Van, you can comment down below what game you're looking forward to and most for next season. But me personally, I'm looking forward to Derby away and Akron and Stanley at home. Because first game of the season and the last game of the season, I'm just looking forward to. And also, away to Epsit Boxing Day. I can't wait for that game as well. I'm going to try to make every game as possible. One game I might miss, and that is Plymouth away. Um, it's a Tuesday night. I just I might not be able to make it. So yeah. But anyway, um, time to hear from some lots of fans now. Um, let's hear from Richard, who wanted to speak about a derby game. 
Okay, first up, Derby away. There's lots of reasons why I think Derby away. First game of the season, always great fun. I've never been to Derby. Um, uh, Pride Park is supposed to be a great ground, so it'd be worth just seeing the ground. Um, secondly, it will be a good judge of how good we are, because I know Derby have just gone down, but they were they had a lot of points deducted, and they worked very hard, and they only just went down. So they're obviously a good side. So um, Derby away, first game of the season. Can't wait. Fan for that, Richard. Neither can I. Um, it's going to be um, a great game, a great atmosphere. We'll probably sell out. Um, yeah. I just can't wait to get a Derby. Um, and I reckon we'll put on a good show against Derby. I reckon it will be a tricky game because Derby did just go down. But I reckon, I, to be honest, I don't reckon we'll lose. I reckon, I have a big feeling... It's going to be a 2-2 two -two draw. But yeah, um, yeah, right, um, Richard, you want to speak about um, the Cambridge game? So yeah, that hear you speak about a Cambridge game. Cambridge at home. I know there's not really a great rivalry between Oxford and Cambridge as far as football is concerned. But... It's always a good one to get some over on the tabs whenever we possibly can. And um, I'm just looking forward to the game because it'll be the first home game. It'll be great fun. The weather should be nice. I mean, what more can you ask for, really? So, Cambridge at home, second game of the season. Can't wait. Again, Richard, another game I can't wait as well. Um, home to Cambridge, our first home game. Should be a packed ground. I'm going to predict about around 9,000 supporters. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait for that game either. Right, Richard, you want to speak about the Bristol Rovers game? Um, right, off you go. Bristol Rovers away. I have personal reasons for wanting to say Bristol Rovers away. Because the last time I went to Bristol Rovers, it was probably the worst away game I've ever been to. It was a scorching hot day. We got there very early. They kept us waiting for ages outside, searching everyone, including little children. And, and when we finally got inside, uh, the stand had no seating and no roof. Everybody was just desperate for, for some shade. And I really just want to go to Bristol, stand there in the shade hopefully and give them a good hiding <laughs> just a retaliation for what they did to us last year Bristol Rovers away yeah thanks for that Richard um, and it was two years ago by the way it was August um, it was very hot um, we got to ground around one and one o'clock one in the afternoon um, and yeah just got a bit um, yeah, just, yeah, it weren't really great at all, to be honest, because it was boiling hot, um, a steward was, like, a bit rough, I suppose, um, but, yeah, um, yeah, next time, I'll probably go by, I don't know, I might go by support coach, I don't know yet, but, yeah, next time I go to Bristol, hopefully, it, it much more better away day for me, uh, and, and also for you, Richard, because, yeah, Last yeah, that probably one of the away games but I wanted to leave really early. I, I was um in a terrace, like Rich just said, no roof. It's boiling hot and yeah. I, I, I honestly just uh, I was just standing there. I, I was just tired, I just wanted to sit down it weren't a great away day for me at all. Well I don't think we stopped off at any services as well, so so that didn't help. But anyway, um, yeah. But anyway, Richard, you, you want to speak about a Sheffield game now? So, yeah. Sheffield Wednesday away. Sheffield are a good side. They're a good side. And Hillsborough's a great ground. It's such a lovely ground. I, I really did like Hillsborough. Um, it was easy to park. Everything was nice. We had a great game there last season. It really was... A great day out, and I and I thoroughly enjoyed going to Sheffield Wednesday away, and hopefully I'll thoroughly enjoy it again this season.
when they were the mating ground. I've been there twice. Um, and yeah, Sheffield, when I went there before, Sheffield was quite loud to be fair, but they weren't loud enough to we out loud in big time. But yeah, um, they, they were loud away to be fair, Sheffield. But yeah, honest, honestly, I want to go back to Sheffield again. We, I think we took 1500 last time. So yeah, I, I can't wait to go back to Sheffield. Um, of course, we're playing them in winter, I think. I just gone through the f a fixtures and I had forgot myself. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Let me quickly have a look, shall I? Um, when are we playing Sheffield away? Even, even, even I just gone through them. Right. Right, it's 17th of December. Um, so yeah, we're, we're playing them on the 17th of December. Um, yeah, so it's going to be quite cold. It will. It would have been better if it were like summer going to Hillsborough, I suppose. But yeah, but, but it is what it is. And yes, I can't wait to go to Hillsborough. Come on, Oxford. Right now, let's hear from my young. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Peter. I'm an Oxford fan. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a little uh, chat for you. I think Ipswich are gonna win. Uh, and I think Ipswich are an up and coming team. They're going to be very strong. Um, we, well, I'm not talking about the last games, but we did only just about get a result against them. So, but I think they're probably going to be a good team. So, yeah, why not? Come on. And it's Boxing Day. Wow. That is going to be so cool. Wow, yeah. Come on. Wickham, hi Wickham, uh, we're going to play Wickham away um, and I'm not going to talk about last season, I'm going to talk about this season, we're going to win, no problem, because we're a better side and we're going to keep our players in the moment, so I reckon Wickham against Oxford, 1-0 Oxford United. Okay, Derby, welcome to League One. Oh my days, I can't believe you're here. Um, Wayne Rooney, I think he's gone. Um, and it is probably the hardest game we're going to play ever in League One. But I think we're going to win. I don't know how, but you are a big club. But you're the same as Oxford. You're not quite getting there. But you will get there. But not be, um, It's going to be such a great game. Um, I'm going to try and get there if I can. Because I might, I might be working. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. And we're, we're going to roll. Eh? We're going to do it. You know? Wayne, like, Wayne Rooney is gone now, which is a shame because I've got a lot of time for him. And a great, a, a total great player. Um, but, you know, we're going to roll with it. Now they've not got many good players. Um, we're, we're, we're ready for you, mate. We're ready for you. What about that? Sheffield Wednesday at the Kassam. Which is going to be a hard game. But I reckon... We're gonna draw that one because that's gonna be a tough game because they're gonna get good players, Sheffield are. And they are, you know, they're sleeping giants, we know that, they've been sleeping all their life. Um, and it's gonna be tough. So let's go for a draw. And I'm even gonna predict it. I'm gonna go for a one one. Thanks for that, Peter. And come on, come on, Oxford. And yeah, um, Boxing Day, I can't wait. Like I said before, I can't wait, Pete. Um, yeah. So come on, Oxford. It's it, Boxing Day. I can't wait. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to give for that game. And that's probably going to be enough for Pat game out. Last year I didn't go because of COVID. We had to give 
COVID passes and everything, getting it fit ground. I just couldn't be bothered to do that, so yeah. But now it all COVID free, so yeah. I can't wait. I'll 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 be I'll be going to nearly every game. Um, I think the only game I'm playing the mess is a is a Plymouth game to be honest because it's Tuesday night and that. Thanks for that, Peter, for all the game you said and spoke about. Um, yeah. I can't wait for all those games. Um, yeah. So thanks. And thank and also Pete. Come on, just for you, your favourite word. Um, Pete, if you're watching this, um, I think I got a nickname for you. And your nickname now, well, well, my nickname is Mickey T, but your nickname is a come on lad. Come on, <laughs> come on, right. So, right, so that's your nickname now, yeah? The come on lad. Yeah. Right, move on now. Um, let's hear from EPM TV, man. Bigger Oxford United stand all day, every day. You know what time it is. Free Palestine all day. You see, you see what time it is already. I'm going to do my little predictions on all the scores for the Oxford game. I'm going to go upstairs in a minute. And I'm going to go and just zone out to all the scores and think what I think will be the, the, the scores. I mean the fixtures, man. And see what I think the scores and my prediction on how well we're going to do this season. But at the end of the day... Let's get one thing perfectly clear. When you support a football team, yeah? When you support a football team, especially when that football team is your hometown, yeah? Nothing's better than that team. Like, that team could be up against fucking Real Madrid and Barcelona put together, mate, and your team's still better. And if you lot don't think so, you lot don't support your team. So if you lot hear any stupidness, then you should realise that in re realistic reality, we ain't got a problem. But when it comes to football, it's a problem. You get me? As soon as the 90 minutes is over, we're good, man. You get me? As soon as this YouTube video is over, we're good. But until then, big up Oxford, any other team in the league, because we're coming for every single one of you, mate. We're going to do Arsenal Invincible shit. You get me? Salute. EPM TV, man. Yes, yeah, so I'm on the Oxford... Oxford United channel and big up the channel I'm going to get my brother to put it in the link below so you lot can go on it if you ain't been on it so salute to them but our first game in July I don't know if it's a friendly but it's against Derby by the way Nicholas yes Derby is a league not a friendly a league starts earlier because of the World Cup Derby, Derby, I don't know why I said Derby, I just read it, against Derby, um, <laughs> yeah man, I think we've got them, to be honest, I think we've got about 3-1, but like, honestly, our team is insane right now, by the way, I'm going to react to everything, with like, all these teams, so I'm not going to be doing like what everyone else is doing and giving a long prediction, I'm just going to run through them and give my opinion. Derby, Derby. Yeah, it sounds a bit like Derby, but it is Derby, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely beat Derby. <laughs> um, yeah, um, that one I'm going to call it now, Derby. Derby County. Hey, don't worry, we will definitely beat the Derbies. Come on, look. Um, Cambridge United, wow. Come on, like at the Kassam Stadium. Like, like we would ever let Cambridge come to Oxford. And nah, mate, you can go no way. Cambridge do not stand a chance. Cambridge will get Cambridge out of here, mate. Swansea, who? What was this? Oh, that's the cup. It's the cup. I can't say it, man. They change that name like every year. Um, come on, man. You really think Swansea has a chance? Yeah, well, that's Swansea's chance, mate. That's their chance. Their chance is not going to last. Their chance is not, nah, mate. <laughs> we beat them once, we can beat them again. We, we want the cut more than they do, man. 
they failed too many times. All we've been doing is getting better. And if we've been failing, we've been getting cheated, and we all know it. Yes. You're totally right, Nick. With that game, like, I'd gone through it before with you earlier about a, a, a maiden goal. Liam Sirkham took a lovely penalty. Um, I know some Swansea fans, my dad's one of them, he would say it weren't a penalty. But it was. Well, the ref wouldn't have gave it otherwise. So, yeah. Um, it, it was a penalty. And Liam Sirkham, what a goal from you. Um, and another player which is gone. So, yeah. But anyway, we didn't need to beat them again. So, yeah. Come on, Oxford. I, I'm actually... Um, I'm acting a bit like my uncle now. But, yeah. Right, carry on. Yeah. Next, Bristol Rovers. I'm going to do a quick one on them. We got Bristol, man. You know, you know I'm going to say Oxford to win every team because at the end of the day, it's my team. Oxford's going to win them all. Like, Bristol, I'll be honest. I think we got Bristol on probably a 4 0. Maybe, hopefully. Lincoln, another 4 0. Easy. Not even worth talking about. And then let's move on to the end of August. We got more cam. You know what? I mean, people underestimate more cam. I reckon it'll be a 5 0. Ha, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But nah, I think we'll beat them 2 3 goals. More cam. More cam. Yeah, we'll definitely beat more cam. So come on, Oxford. We'll, we will be like you said, Nick. We've got to think positive and we've got to think that we're going to win every game. We we might not, but we've got to think it. A lot of fans, we've got to think we're the best team ever. But yeah, then. Carry on. Chartenham, Chartenham Town. You know what? It, I'll be honest, this is real talk. If we can, I think we'll demolish these teams, yeah? If we can demolish these teams, is these prim yeah yeah League One League One? Oh shit! So League One does start in July. Oh no, it's the end of July. I didn't know. Yeah yeah yeah. So cool. the first match is Derby. So yeah. So we let's go back down to where we go in Cheltenham. Well, I reckon Derby might be pretty hard to be fair. May I don't know actually. I reckon we've got all these teams, and if we can beat all these teams to begin with. We would definitely have a not by September. We would be so high up. I think we've got the best chance, you know. That set up there, we've got the best chance. Obviously, Swansea will be the easiest. Come on, they're shite. But no, <laughs> um, anyways, we've got Burton, yeah. Big up Burton, but you're gonna get burted out of there, mate. Literally, another one I don't care about this because it's going to be an easy result 3 4 0. Shrewsbury Town 3 4 0. Plymouth will be a bit of a fight, but I reckon 1 2 0. 1 0 will take Plymouth. MK Dons with smashing on 3 4 0. Fleetwood Town, hey Fleetwood, get out of here, man. Come on. Charlton, I don't know about Fleetwood, you know, probably 2 0. I'll say 2 0 with Fleetwood. Charlton, um. That's what I think about them. Trust me, we'll we'll get them. We'll get them. Do you know what? Yeah, I think um, I'll be honest. I think August is the easiest. September, pretty easy. October's getting a bit tougher for it, for us, but I think we've got a bolt. I think Bolton is going to be one of them teams that you know what I mean. I reckon if any team is going to get us, Bolton is probably the team. So let's get to November, Forest Green Rovers and Port Vale. Okay. I don't know, Sheffield Wednesday, we've got you lot as well, alright. I'm just looking down quick, I'm seeing if there's any teams there that actually bothers me, really. The, th the thing everybody needs to remember, yeah, is people are going to be saying MK Don's there, and who else was high up right there? I can't, let me try to think. MK Dons, you I'm trying to think who ain't gone up and who was there. You had Sheffield Wednesday was quite high up, weren't they? Um Yeah, so you you know what I mean, you had a few high up people. Wait, I think Otford have a great season next season. Um and yeah. And it's always good for you to think think positive of your team to be honest. Um But if you think positive and you, yeah. Are you more likely to um 
do well. You just gotta think positive. Because if, if everyone thinks negative and don't support your team, your team could do quite bad next season. So always good to have faith in your team because it's your home team. And yeah, just think they're gonna do well next season. Um, like carry on. What I'm saying is, like, them teams ain't gonna be the same this next year, mate. Them to trust me because this is League One. This is a put year of mad. Just um. Yeah, yeah, a lot of team was high up, Nick. Um, we had um, Wickham Wanderers, um, MK Dons, and Sheffield and Sunderland in the playoffs. Um, Sunderland won it. It was it was, so Sunderland deserved it. Fair play to them. Um, and yeah. So yeah. Um, but yeah, um, Plymouth just missed out, I think. Yeah, and Portsmouth was close to it. Otford was close, and yeah. So, I reckon it's going to be a challenge. I, it is a mystery. League One is just a mystery. Oxford's got it. We've got a new stadium coming. We've got everything built for us, literally. We're doing our thing. Exit up. <coughs> January. January seems like a pretty easy month. Um... Yeah man, January, I'm not going to lie, there's not many teams that are fair in there, you know what I mean, we got, I think Plymouth's going to be one of them teams this year, you know, can't be wrong, but I just got... Yeah, 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 I reckon Plymouth will be one of those teams as well, Nick, um, yes, Plymouth just missed out last season as well, same with Oxford, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with... Auckland, Plymouth, top two. Um, some of you might be saying, what are you on about putting Oxford in top two? But Oxford, my club, i got to respect them, so i got to give them a faith, and we've been missing out a few times. So I'm, I'm going to put them in first and second with Plymouth. But yeah, um, give your thoughts where you think your club will finish end of next season. Now you heard, you heard from my brother... Um, and now I'm going to go through all the teams who, who, all the clubs, like I said at the start. I, I, I got class, um, loud, decent, quiet, and poor. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through all the teams in alphabetical order from, from League One, see who's got the best support. I see you've got a low support or medium support or that, that, yeah. First club is Accrington Stanley. Who are they, sadly? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put them in quiet. Um, I think they're right when they're at home, but when they're away, they don't really take many. So I'm going to put them in quiet. They're not really a big club either. Yeah, I'm being generous and putting you in quiet, or you could have gone in poor, but I'm, but, but I'm going to stick you in quiet. I'm going to be nice. Boundary you now, I, I'm going to put you boundary in decent. I haven't been to your ground, and I remember playing you once, and you was right, so. Next season, you can prove me wrong, but I'm going to put you in decent. Bolton Wanderers, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put you in class. Chris Rovers, I'm gonna put you in decent. Burton, I'm 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 gonna put you in poor, sorry. When I went to you, there weren't really a lot. That's probably be, I thought that, I think there was about three thousand supporters there all together. <laughs> Your support is absolutely poor. Sorry. I, I'm sorry poor. Home and away poor. Nothing else to say. Cambridge United Ooh. Decent, let's go with decent. Chow, they're, they're a bit I got for Cambridge. They allow some game there. Yeah, I'm going to put them decent. Chow, they're loud to the point. So yeah, I'm going to put them loud. Chow, I'm, I'm going to put in... 
I'm going to be generous and put you in decent. You could have gone fire. Decent. Let's stick with decent for you, Cheltenham. Derby County. I'm going to get... Some of you might be kicking off here, but i never been to Derby and, and I never went to Derby. I just don't know. I don't know about your... I heard your, your club is quite loud, but... I got to see it for my eyes, so I'm going to put you as decent in the middle. <laughs> so, yeah, you feel me wrong next season, by all means. Exeter City. Um, when I did see you play at home, you are the way granted. So, I'm going to say loud for you, because you, you did make a lot of noise away. Fleetwood Town. Poor. Four skin Rovers, quiet. It it's with town class. Lincoln City. Well, why am I putting Lincoln? Mm, decent, I suppose. MK Don's decent. Morecambe. Morecam or Morecam or Morecam, and as Nick was saying, my brother Morecam, I am putting you in quiet. I know Oxford United, O U S C. Decent. I'm just gonna be honest. We are allowed some game last year. We was quiet. We're well, we're we're allowed well majority, but some games we are quiet. So I'm gonna go decent. I'm I'm just being honest. Peterborough United, um, uh, yeah, I might get some stick now for my fans, but I'm just, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I got to be honest on either. But but we are allowed, so yeah, I'm just, so that one going decent. Peterborough United. I, I, I'm I'm I, I'm putting them decent as well. Playing with Argyle, I'm gonna put loud. They're good considering they have to travel a lot because they cause about where they are as well. They got to travel a lot of places. So yeah, fair play to Plymouth fans. I'm I'm gonna put them in loud. Portfield, I'm putting in. I can't remember watching them play. I'm 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 gonna go decent. Portsmouth, I'm I'm gonna put in loud. Sheffield Wednesday, I'm 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 gonna go with. Okay, this and now when people are gonna give me grief. Last season when I went to watch Sheffield play, they was they was terrible at home, but they were loud away, so I'm gonna go decent. They got a big ground, a big fan base. I, I um, give them that, but they weren't quite loud, so I'm going to go decent with them. Some people in the comments might give me grief, um, at your opinion, but uh, but Sheffield, what I saw last year, weren't quite loud at home. They are loud away, that one putting them in decent. But yeah, you you can comment what you think, Sheffield fans, but I, I'm, I'm just going to go with decent. Next year, away, you're going to prove me wrong, but for now, I'm putting you in decent. Should I be down? I'm putting in um, quiet. Wick and Wanderers, I'm putting in quiet. Yes, at my rank in League One um, fans. So, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I will quickly let you look now who, who, who I put in what order. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and season start back soon. So um, yeah, I I can't wait for that. I can't wait. I got my season ticket. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. And come on, Oxford. I will see you. Oh, before I go, I've got to spin the wheel. So.
So I'm going to spin the wheel now. And whatever I spin it on, I will be wearing on tomorrow's game. So let me quickly do that now before I go. Right, this is my spin the wheel. We got um load of stuff on there. We got a summer one, we got autumn one, a winter one, a spring one. Because sort of like a winter one, an autumn wheel will be like for like um like a cone outfit will be all like different costumes because it'll be more colder and yeah so yeah but for this one it'd be like football kits smart stuff and like that so we've got like a full kit from other seasons and that so yeah and we've also got a polo shirt and chinos or jeans yeah right let's go one minute let me get ready what i'm gonna land on what i'm gonna wear tomorrow Ooh, full oh, oh, I've got to wear full away kit from last year. Mm. Uh, so that's it, i got to wear my full away kit. Oh, does that mean i got to wear shin pads, socks, shirt? But I'm going to have to do it. So yeah, I'll see you on um, tomorrow. For another match day vlog, it's, it's been so long. So yeah, come on, I'm acting a bit on my own you now. But yeah, I just can't wait to play Derby, as my brother Nick's called it, um, first game of the season. But first thing first, I will see you tomorrow wearing a full away kit from last season. Oh. See ya. And um, just to say this, sorry about the noise. Um, it's it, it, it a noise coming from a, a it is a squeaky chair chair. So yeah. So if you're watching this and you're um thinking what's that noise coming from? Yes, it's a squeak coming from a chair. I don't know what's wrong with that actually. When I rock with it, it just squeaks. So yeah, there's so it's squeaky. So yeah, it's a squeaky chair then. Alright, so I'm just letting you know. So, my 2022-2023 season. What do I think? I think, well, I think we've been a top eight club uh, for four or five seasons now, quite obviously. Um... Maybe we tailed away a little bit last season, but I still think we were a good side. We played some good football. It was a good season. It was a good season. Um, I think we'll be there or thereabouts again. I don't see any reason why our form will drop off particularly. Hopefully, we'll get all much promotion. That will be quite difficult with the sides that are in League One this year. But if not, playoffs, and then it's a lottery, isn't it? But I would hope that when I talk to Thomas in his vlog, and I talk to Oxford United Stand this time next season, we're talking about the championship. God willing. Let's have a good season, lads. Come on, you yellows! Okay, so... 2022 season, the 23 season, um, I'm going to predict a, a bit of a mad one. I'm going to say Ipswich are going up, promoted. Um, I'm going to go for more than likely. Portsmouth. They're going to run their game, I don't know how. Um, and then we're going to put in the playoff Oxford, obviously. We're going to put in Sheffield. Um, I'm going to probably put in Derby. And I'm going to go... I, I don't like saying that I'm going to go with them as well. If their manager's still there. So, yeah. Cool. Um, and hopefully if we've, got, if we've got a similar squad. And, and you know, they're, they're definitely going to be in the playoffs. 
not going to win the league because that would be like a miracle. But you never know. Um, they've they've got the talent. Yeah, like I said, Brannigan, please stay at Oxford. Please, you know, we'll get a south here again. Come on. Um, but there's definitely up and coming teams. Ipswich. I know I said Portsmouth's a bit dodgy that one, but Sheffield. Okay, let's not too worry too much about that. Um, Wickham. Yeah. Definitely going to beat Swansea in the Carabao, so don't worry about that. That's definitely going to happen. FA Cup probably, probably do second round, third round if we're lucky. Carabao Cup, I reckon we could, like I said, we've done it before, I reckon we could get like to, let's go quarterfinals. Oh God, I'd say group stage, because I, re I reckon Carabao we're going to push on. I think that's what I said. And then FA Cup, FA Cup, but I don't think we're going to do very well in the Papa John's. I think probably might put a weak team out, maybe. Maybe worry about the league. Yeah. Just my opinion. Cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.